Okay, so I got it all wired, and this is how it goes um, on the back of the PCB that connects to the external module. Make these two connections here for power, and then down here. third from the right will be that green wire and the fourth from the right will be that blue wire. Be very careful making these connections. It's really easy to get a blob of solder and short them out. <clears throat> now you connect them to the stripped down. This is the stock multi-module protocol or multi-protocol module that came with it. Just with the casing stripped off and I cut the little plastic things that connect to these pins. Cut those off the back so it would lie flatter. So you connect it like this. Green wire, black wire, red wire. Skip this one. It's not connected. And then blue wire up here. So pretty simple. I had to buy a longer pigtail that I got on Amazon to connect the antenna because the stock one wasn't long enough. And my plan is to use some zip tire, some double sided tape to mount it down here under the battery tray. Pretty easy mod. The only tricky parts are you got to flash the module with the um, special firmware that Benzo 99 has provided. There'll be a link to that thread in the description. And um, those little tiny solder joints are a little bit tricky. But other than that, uh, so far so good. Let me uh, put this all together and I'll show it to you working. Here's what I hope will be the final configuration. Got this thing kind of scooched off to the side so the USB port and LEDs clear the battery bay. Mount the antenna. It's a tight squeeze, but it fits. I just gotta put the case back on and test it. Alright, so we got this thing all buttoned up. Got the the um, R9M module in there and the internal antenna set up. So, like this. You can see the internal RF is set up for multi protocol module. And I can beep this guy. So you know it's connected. Now let's try the R9M. Telemetry lost. Connected. Hey, no more swapping modules. And I can't remember if I updated the firmware on this thing when I got it or not, but it is running this version of firmware. Alright, this is an awesome radio. It does need a good bit of modding to be perfect installed the whole sensor gimbals which you can get stock now and I added a battery charger for internal battery charging I've got another video about that on my channel 
Anyway, happy flying, guys.